Hi, welcome back to Rusted Junk Garage. Instead of working on rusted junk today, we're going to travel back in time. Ride along with us and let's get started. Like I said, we're going to go back in time, so let's get it started. Let's spin back the clock to 1957. And there we are. 1957 210 Chevrolet sedan. There's a story behind this car. I was with my dad in the spring of 1960 on the used car lot of Williams and Swanson Chevrolet in beautiful downtown Renton, Washington, when he purchased this car for his sister. She was a school teacher at the grade school and lived less than a mile from the school, and she'd drive it back and forth to class and to church on Sunday, and then after that to our house for breakfast. When I was younger, I used to wash and wax this car and do the oil changes for her. Unfortunately, my aunt passed away in 1970, and her sister, my cousin, owned this car. It sat in the garage for literally 25 years. Um, she eventually sold it to her ex-husband, who owned it, and I believe that would have probably been 1990-ish, somewhere in there, not sure. Uh, and five years ago, I managed to buy the car from him. So let's do a little bit of walk around on this. Like I said, 1957 Chevrolet 210 two-door post sedan. The color is Highland Green, General Motors lacquer. And this car has never been repainted. What you're looking at here is absolutely 100% factory GM Highland Green lacquer. There have been a couple things done to the car over the years. I changed the wheels out to 15 inch wheels and a little larger tires to fill up the wheel wells on it. Um, that's one thing. It does have a split header on it, so it has dual exhaust. The interior has been redone in the car, and that was done in uh, 1971, and it was done in a green Nagahide. You'll see that when we get in there. <clears throat> Looking around the car here, you could see that the original paint is thin in spots on the high spot there, some spots on the trunk. The chrome has never been redone on this car. This is, uh, this is factory original chrome on the car. And all the trim is the same, the 210 trim, which uh, the Bel Air would have the insert in there. Glass in the car is, is all original. Um, this is a real time capsule. Again, you can see there are spots where the paint is very thin. Needless to say, I don't wax this car. I don't wash this car. Uh, I just use a quick detailer on it. In fact, this car has not been wet or even washed for over 40 years. Um, so that's pretty amazing. So let's take a look under the hood here. Here we go. Original numbers matching 235 six cylinder motor. Never been out of the car. This motor has never been out of the car. This is the way that General Motors put it in the car. 
I'm hoping you can see this pretty well. 235.6 with a three on the tree. Let's take a look inside the car. Oh, let me show you something here. Look at this door. Is that beautiful? All right, like I said, green Naga Hyde interior in the car, done in 1971, I believe. It was done in Port Angeles, Washington. That's where my uh, cousin lived, and they had the car done. You take a look at the the rolled pleats in it, matching on the door. Headliner is the same. Uh, the rear seat, even the the package tray. Uh, carpet has been replaced with a uh, factory black carpet. Even the door sill plates there are uh, Fisher, body by Fisher, so they are original. So let's slide in here. Original steering wheel, horn, dash, and this car has 68,326 original miles on it. This is just uh, just a time capsule. Looking at the at the dash, Highland Green, and the offsetting green there, AM radio, the factory clock in it. Very, very well preserved time capsule. All the paint in here is Highland Green on all the trim, and it is untouched original. So, very, very lucky to have this car. Uh, I don't drive it very often. Uh, it was out once last fall, and that was about it. And then I backed it out of the garage today. But a uh, very special car. Um, been in the family since 1960, so um, I'm very fortunate to, to have this. And this is one car that'll that'll probably never be sold. It'll be passed on to one of my two sons when I'm not around anymore. We'll let them fight over it and, and see. So anyway, we'll go over here to the passenger side. Got the 76 ball on there. I don't know, you don't see those too often. Good guys. Uh, looking at the glass and the trim. Uh, everything is... Uh, is just the way it came from the from the factory paint again very thin on the trunk there um, but just a beautiful beautiful time capsule of a 57 chevrolet that's unmolested so we're happy to have this baby let uh if i can find it here here we go let's open the trunk See what she looks like in there. All right. Factory Highland Green in the trunk. Factory jacking instructions. I believe this to be the original spare tire, original bumper jack, and the original trunk mat in there. The Original overspray, factory overspray on the Highland Green paint is still visible on the top of the trunk. So very, very nice. Uh, you just don't see these every day. So that's why I wanted to, to share this with you. So there's the walk around on the car and a little bit on the history of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. So. If you ever see it at one of the car shows, uh, stop by and, and say hi, and I'll give you an up-close and personal tour of uh, the 57 Chev time capsule. Thanks for joining us today uh, and looking at the, the 57 Chev. Uh, pretty proud of this thing, and like I said, real fortunate to, to have it and preserve it for, uh, for the future. So. Thanks for joining us today on Rusted Junk Garage. Have a great, beautiful Monday. We'll catch you on the next video.